Hi everyone, in this video I would like to show you how you can interact with uh, Ethereum wallet called Metamask from a React application. So first we are gonna need a simple uh, React application. I used here a create React app to generate some code and now I'm running development server so it runs in the background. And once uh, our server is running, we can uh, launch the localhost 3000 port and we can see that our application is working there. And the second step would be um, to run our local Ethereum blockchain so we can interact with it. If you don't know how to do it, I highly recommend you to watch my previous video on uh, Ganache CLI. So we have our Ethereum server locally running uh, in the background so we can edit a bit our react code and uh, our goal for today video it would be to get the current ethereum address of the metamask user so whenever somebody is coming to our decentralized app we can check what account our user currently is using and of course uh, we can do it uh, with window.ethereum object this is a special object which is exposed by um, wallets like metamask uh, but metamask also offers some special api um, that we can use and um, because user can change for instance some account and we want to get update on that so we use the api which is ethereum on and we are listening to accounts changed event so we can react to it inside our code and uh, we're gonna use ethereum uh, in uh, multiple places in this component so I will assign it to a variable and of course we need to perform a check if the um, browser is exposing ethereum object because otherwise it not doesn't make any sense to listen on some uh, events if a browser is not exposing um, the ethereum uh, object so now you can see that we have console log and this console log is reacting to changing accounts so this uh, listener uh, works and um, we can uh, now uh, improve our code a bit and uh, keep uh, the current ethereum address in the state of our react component and to do it we use react hooks which is use state of course if you are more familiar with class components in rails you can use this dot state and uh, just store uh, the state there but i will use hooks and first we're gonna have address and set address function and the initial value of our state is just empty string so whenever I can't change we are gonna set our local state uh, to accounts uh, index zero and now we can see that whenever somebody is changing the account from the metamask our code is reacting to that of course our code now is really simple but uh, we can use for instance ethereum address and uh, use it to i don't know maybe authenticate the user or um, fetch some previous transactions that we had with this address but now we have a bit problem with the browsers which are not supporting um, wallet which don't have any wallet like metamask so we're gonna add here some uh, conditional that whenever ethereum exists we want to display the ethereum address but um, so we not gonna confuse the users that are using a normal browser without any wallet and of course it would be useful to display some kind of alert that this application requires a user to have some uh, wallet so we're gonna check whenever ethereum is undefined uh, we're gonna uh, render paragraph with some red color please use browser with ethereum wallet and yeah as you can see it still works so inside the safari browser we have a nice error 
and yeah this is basically it uh, of course we're gonna extend this code a bit but i just wanted to show you how easily you can react to um, changing accounts inside the metamask wallet and that's all for today i hope you liked the video if you still have some questions just ask them in the comment section and yeah thank you for watching